Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Beauty by Nisi. If this is your very first time, welcome to the family. If this is not, thank you so much for always stopping by and showing love. So today's video is going to be um, kind of a comparison. Um, I don't think this is an exact dupe, but it's going to be a comparison of the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette and this palette that I found on Amazon and today I actually found them on Instagram the company is called you can be this is their twilight and dusk desert palette I used both palettes to create this look I want you to leave a comment pause this video leave a comment right now let me know which eye you think so this is gonna be my right eye which is gonna be your left side this is my left eye obviously is gonna be your right side let me know which one I used uh, which palette was used for which eye so um, just pause this video something very interesting that we can all um, try just leave a comment below and let me know which eye you think I did which I used um, the Desert Dusk or the Twilight and Dusk palette on. All right, guys, so if you want to find out what the answer is, I need you to watch this video all the way to the end. Okay, guys, so I do, ha I do have my face done and I have my eyelids primed. I am going to do this eye with the Twilight and, that and Dusk palette from You Can Be. And then this eye will be the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. Um, just a little disclaimer, uh, this is the second time I'm filming this today. I filmed one earlier and then I realized that my camera was off, it was not even recording. So I am a little um, stressed out right now, but we're going to go ahead and do this again. Hopefully this time it is recording. So I went in the shade Saffron from the Twilight and Dusk palette. And um, this is a burnt orange shade and I use that in my crease on my um, right eye. And then in the Huda Beauty palette, I went in the shade Ember. It is also quite close to that same burnt orange. Um, actually, it's like a burnt red. So yeah, I take that back. I use that all over um, in my crease as a transition color. And then back to the uh, Twilight and Dusk palette, I use Turkish Delight. It's more of like a, a reddish color. Um, I use that in my crease. I went over that in my crease. And then in the Huda Beauty, I didn't get an exact one, but I had a shade also called Saffron, which was more reddish. So I used that um, in place of a reddish color because I couldn't find any in the Huda Beauty uh, palette. And then I went back into my Twilight and Dusk. I went in the shade Nefertiti. Um, I went in that and used that. It's more of like a darker brown shade. I went that. I used that in the outer corner of my eye. And then I blended it out with um, a blending brush to make sure that all the colors diffuse properly. And then in place of that, I used OUD from the Huda Beauty palette and also placed that in the outer corners of my eye. And then for the lid in the Twilight You Can Be palette, I use Celestial all over the lid. And this color applied so seamlessly. I was so impressed. I really did not even need to use um, to spray my brush. But I think I did that later on. Um, you can see in the clip that I did that later on. But it was not necessary. Um, the shimmer applied so seamlessly. And I was very impressed with that. And then for the Huda Beauty on my lid, I use the shade Nefertiti um, all over the lid. And this is the palette that, this is the shade that I had the most issue with. The shimmer was all over the place. Um, as soon as I blended, it just disappeared. I mean, I struggled with this shade so much. Even after spraying my brush, it still did not work. So if you notice throughout, um, that shade was a little bit off. It was not, um, 
it was not placed properly and I just could not I, di I just didn't know what to do with it and then for my brow bone for the you can be palette I use the shade royal and then for the Huda beauty I use the shade desert okay so this is all that I'm gonna do with the two palettes I'm gonna go off camera finish off the rest of my face and then I'll come back with my final review and comparison of both palettes hi guys welcome back so this is the finished look on this eye i use the you can be twilight dusk palette on this eye i use the huda beauty desert dusk palette so my final review i'm gonna start with the price this i bought off of amazon but i also found them on instagram I'll leave the, the name on Instagram on the screen. I don't know how much it retails for on Instagram, but on Amazon, um, I'm reading off of my phone, it retails for $11. It's, it's 18 shadows in all this, 10 matte and eight shimmers. When it comes to the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette, I have already reviewed this palette, so I'm not gonna say much about it. Um, I'll leave a link to that video in my description box or on an iCard here on the screen if I remember. Um, this palette retails for $65 on the Sephora website. It has 8 matte shades and 10 shimmers if I'm remembering right. Um, but overall, let's compare these two palettes now. When it comes to the packaging, the Huda Beauty is a little more compact and heavier than the Twat You Can Be palette. The Huda Beauty palette is smaller in size than the You Can Be palette. When you see the comparison, the Huda Beauty is a little heavier and a little sturdier than the You Can Be palette. When it comes to the colors, I feel like the You Can Be palette has a lot more transition shades in it than the Huda. I don't know if it'll, it will all fit on the screen, but these are the shades. Now one thing that I can say is all the names on the Huda Beauty are also here, but they are not the exact shades. So for instance, if you have OUD, which is here in the corner, which is a shimmer uh, champagne shade here, on the Huda Beauty, OUD is in the same position, but OUD is a matte dark brown shade. So um, they have the same names in the same positions, but there's different shades, ar shade arrangements. I can also say that not all the shades in here are here, but I tried to use the shades that were a lot more similar. Again, the Huda Beauty has a, a very big mirror, which is very good. Um, when you're on the go and you need to do your eyes, this does not come in, does not come with the mirror, as you can tell. Now, when it comes to the performance of the palette, both palettes I would say uh, blend well. This I was actually the you can be palette. I was actually very surprised when it comes to pigments. This kick butt. This has a lot more pigment than this Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty, when I first had it, did have pigment, but this has a lot more pigment than the Huda Beauty. When it comes to fallout, the Huda Beauty has minimal. It has some, but not crazy. This, I did not experience any fallout. At least with the shades that I tried on today, I didn't see any fallout. It, both palettes blend very well, as I already mentioned. And even though not all the shades in this palette are, they don't have very exact similar shades, I could say that this could pass for a dupe because of the packaging. Just, I mean, the eye look and everything and the Huda here with her pretty eyes, it's, it's quite similar. It might not be an exact dupe, but I mean, if you cannot, you don't want to spend $68 you can spend $11 on Amazon.com and get this palette. I really love it. This is probably going to be one of my go-to palettes um, when I'm on the go and I really need to grab something real quick to put all over my lid. 
all right guys so this is it this is my review and i hope this um dupe in quotes um will be will be helpful to somebody will um and i hope that this dupe in quotes um will be helpful to somebody let me know if you try this palette let me know if you try any of the palettes from you can be and let me know how they perform just put it in the um comment section below okay guys so this brings us to the end of today's video if you have still not subscribed i would love it if you subscribe so that you don't have to always search for my name hit the notification bell whilst you subscribe so that you are always notified when i upload a new video thank you guys so much and i will see you in my next one